Hello and welcome once again to the Cougar Close-Up feature here on Shaw TV. I'm Dan O'Connor, the voice of the Prince George Cougars, and this week we feature a player that's heading into the weekend as the top scorer not only on the Prince George Cougars, but the entire Western Hockey League. Jared Bethune has had a great start to the season and we'll ask him all about it. That and much more still to come on the Cougars Close-Up here on Shaw TV. With the Western Hockey League's leading scorer, Jared Bethune here after a 6-0 start to the season for the Prince George Cougars. WHL leading score. Has that kind of sunken in? How does it feel when you, when you hear that after, after the first six games? Uh, for me, you know, it was a little bit surreal. I mean, for us, we just were off to a hard, hot start, so uh, I think we didn't really think about it too much. And then for the home opener, when they said that, I think going out there was the first time it kind of sunk in a little bit, which is pretty cool. But for us, it's just been, uh, it's been pretty awesome just with a 6-0 start. I mean, first time in franchise history. And, Leading the WHL is just awesome. Let's talk, let's start with the summer. Um, new head coach announced uh, you're coming into your third season in the WHL. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that it's a pretty big season for you in a number of different aspects. But just tell me about the mindset coming back to camp, your second training camp, but for your third season. Just, just tell me about the mindset coming in. I think with last year, you know, starting off in playoffs, I kind of figured out my game with, with Hollock and them, so it kind of really helped me I uh, started a good summer and I just uh, knew the whole summer we have a lot of older guys coming in so I'm going to have to make my mark and uh, you know for us the big thing was just teamwork and bonding so you know Maddie's been really big on that and our whole team's just been connecting so uh, coming in this season everyone just wanted a hot start and obviously we've gotten that. The start of the ski, uh, season, the regular season for your team was not easy when you consider the difficulty of the schedule, the travel, the BC Division games, but your team really seemed to relinquish and relish in that, travel, uh, in that challenge. I mean, can you just talk about uh, how that, that snowball of confidence can start? You, you win the first game in Victoria, you win the next one, and then bam, all of a sudden you're 6-0? and Yeah, I think that second game in Vic was a big game for us, you know, getting the sweep in Victoria, and then a lot of the older guys coming in as veteran players, we kind of know the travel and, you know, we got thrown into six games right away, so it was kind of a big um, shock for us, but I think most of us were ready for it and it, it started off really well. Is it easier to start on the road compared to maybe starting at home with all the bells and whistles and hoopla that come with a season opener and a home opener? Uh, apparently, uh, no, uh, we just started off hot and I think uh, just started off right. We were all mentally prepared for the, the road trip and Matt the truck made sure we were all ready for the, the game starting up. You know, you've always been an offensive player, uh, and, and maybe it, it, you've kind of gotten through hot stretches before in the WHL, but when you look at your start, Jared, and just some of the factors that have enabled you to get to this point with this kind of sustained success early on, what are some of the factors? I think confidence is a big thing coming in this year with the older guys, and you know, knowing uh, kind of Matt Wachuk came off with a good start and had a really good relationship with him. So uh, for me, you know, I've, I've seen stretches of me playing this good before, but for me, uh, consistently, consistency is big for me this year. So hopefully keep that going for the next little bit here. You've skated a lot with Justin Almeida and Colby McCauley. I mean, just tell me, Jared, about what, what you feel has, has helped you bring out the best in your game because of them and maybe vice versa. I think just moving the puck for us. I mean, none of us are selfish and, you know, we're, we're playing as a team. So, uh, you know, we're... we're uh, there's a lot of chemistry going on with us just off, off the ice too, so it's awesome. Tell me about life uh, in the city right now, when you're going out to eat, when you're going out to, to the movie theater. I mean, are, are fans talking to you? Are, you are, are they approaching you off the street? I mean, are you feeling a buzz in this city that maybe you haven't quite noticed as, as prominently in, in seasons one and two? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just at Earl's or a couple of restaurants, we've had lunches paid for us, and it's, it's pretty cool to see. I mean, we've never had this before, so uh, everyone's excited for us, and we're off to a hot start, but uh, we're trying not to let, let it uh, sink in or take advantage of it too much. So uh, we know we can't take any game uh, by chance and just got to keep going. That was going to be my next point. I mean, you're 6-0, and you're, you're tops in the CHL right now, but you're only really as good as your next game. And you've got two with Vancouver coming up this weekend. Just a thought from you, Jared, about the importance of those games and maintaining that, that level-headed equilib equilibrium as you get set for, for two matchups against a division rival. Yeah, for us, I mean, in Vancouver last time, we were up 4-1 to one and blew the lead. So uh, for us coming in, these are two big games and really going to test the guys and see uh, mentally where we're at. So it's going to be huge for us not looking past these guys and really taking to them. Seeing the full team back together with Jesse, with Jansen back, along with, you know, the other NHL guys, does that just further bolster this team's confidence as you move forward? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Jansen and Jesse coming in, you know, they're both excited for us having team success and they both want to get going here. So 
we're all just kind of helping them settle in and get used to the systems, but it's, it's been great having them back. Really great seeing you have the success that you've been having both as a team and individually. Jared, congratulations on that. Best of luck to you and the guys this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Daniel. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Cougar Close-Up on Shaw TV. Make sure you join us again next week when we feature second-year Cougars forward Justin Almeida. For more information on tickets, the roster, and much more, visit the Prince George Cougars website at www.pgcougars.com.